now here's the meaning of life. Thank you, Brigitte. My name is Dutch Merrick, and I'm a prop master. I'm about to show you the inside world of Hollywood props. You don't think I'd go into combat with loose change in my pocket, do you? Here, you'd better have this. It's the world's most popular assault rifle, a weapon all fighters love. We bought you this, sir. Every week is a new challenge on my show, and there are things that I would never think would be a prop that become props. Feared, madam. Uh, magic is really all props. Whether something as simple as a deck of cards or as dangerous as a guillotine. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> it's a gift from some friends from out of town. Oh. Here, let me just go ahead and get that from you. <sighs> Help me in with this. Help me in with this. Think of your secretary. What do you mean, weapons? The thing with props and being a prop master is it can be anything, really obscure and weird things. What a job. A, B, C camera, common marker. Take one, marker. You know what a property master is? A property master is the person who handles anything the actor touches. Anything that is key in um, the story that would help tell the story. Wow. A lot of the items we're in charge of will create the story. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. In other cases, they will move it forward or stop it. You know you've got a face? Beautiful enough to be worth two thousand dollars. I've definitely had my share of challenges when it comes to props and getting because what's written is not often what exists. This thing caused the 1977 New York blackout. The fact that there's guys out there making those props happen just sort of flies under our radar. Anyone who's created a show or written for a show owes a great deal to prop masters for doing their job so well. We need to talk about your flair. People don't know what we do. We're kind of the unsung hero, the secret weapon behind the scenes of the camera in Hollywood. So as I was in my bathroom, which was completely covered in blood and guts and broken condoms, the hotel maid walked in. <laughs> It's like a circus. We pack it all up and move it to the next town, and then we unpack it all super fast, and it's set up and ready to go. Everyone knows just what to do. You get in early, grab a bite of food, and then you hit the ground running. First scene that we shot was 500 people coming off a sailing ship in New York Harbor. All the parts of all the models I built were obtained here at Kitcraft in Studio City. Props are crucial to storytelling. A prop can be a character. We get to be best friends for real? For real. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? The Lord of the Rings. It's all about the ring. Well, the job of a prop master is not like any other job. We go to many places that you would never go in a normal life. What he said. Common marker. <laughs> the nation is counting on us. I started working with Martin Scorsese on a picture called Casino. The Truman Show. Directed a lot of The Office. I think I've done 17 episodes of The Office. Growing Pains and Night Court. End of Days, Terminator 3, Aviator. Boston Legal, Pushing Daisies. Dust Till Dawn, Killing Zoe. Arrested Development, Dexter, NYPD Blue. I've been an executive producer in TV for frighteningly Almost 30 years. I did Patton. The Secret Adventures of Jules Verne. They don't have in their vocabulary, oh, I can't get it. It's impossible. They'll create it. This tactical nuclear warhead just attached to my garden hose with ordinary hand tools. Oh, jeez. One of my favorite places to visit on set is the prop truck. Why is that? It's a wonderland. We're very much involved with the storytelling process. Props shape a character both in story 
for the audience, because they'll associate a character with the way they look, the watch they're wearing, the pen they use. I like to find props that give depth and history to my character. If there's a continuity error, it takes the audience out of the show. The glass isn't going half full, full, half full. You had to be a good prop man to do a Jerry Lewis movie, because Jerry's just crazy. I love the collaborative efforts of being a part of a film crew and being a part of the process of making stories that other people get to sit and enjoy and escape from whatever is going on in their lives.